we can all, you can end up with this dumb opinion. You ever had one? Sure. If you haven't, then you definitely have some. <laughs> so it works. And man, it's easy to form a dumb opinion and keep it. The smart opinions are tough, right? Right? You got to learn stuff and think critical, and there's logic. And stupid opinions are way easier. You form them easier to defend, too. Like a smart opinion, you got to cite evidence. No stupid opinion. This is how you defend a stupid opinion. You ready for this? This is how you defend. This is how you do it. Well, that's not. That's that's what I heard. <laughs> Just cite hearing it as evidence that it's true. If it's a dumb enough opinion, well, I've heard it like three times. Okay? Everybody's saying it. Any idiot knows. Yeah, we consulted the idiots. Well, that's not what I heard. You will just cite not hearing it as evidence that it's not true. You expect me to believe there's something true I haven't heard at least three times. Look, this is the first time I'm hearing this. And none of the idiots, look, I'm an idiot. And then you get defensive, we do that. People get defensive, huh? They're like, well, you call me a liar? No, maybe I'm just saying, maybe you heard something that's not true, like three times. Then believe it, I'm, I'm not calling... I'm not calling you a liar. I'm calling you stupid. <laughs> you say I'm stupid. You're saying I'm stupid. Well, that's what I heard. <laughs> Think about it. There's a warm day in winter here a little while ago. It's like last year. She was seven and she came home from school scared talking about global warming. She was, see, she was scared by a warm winter day. When I was a kid, we enjoyed a warm winter day. It was fun because we didn't see it as a symptom of impending doom. So we enjoyed it the same way you would enjoy sudden weight loss until you find out it's an intestinal parasite. <laughs> And actually, it was a lot worse. I don't know if you know that. Uh, if you're not old enough to remember, the environment was actually much worse for a while. We made progress. We should take, be happy about that. A lot of, the air, way worse. Way, way worse. It was so bad. The environment was so bad, we noticed it. <laughs> us. The scientists didn't have to tell us there was a problem. You know, like with global warming, would you notice that on your own? Really? If you live by a glacier? Yes. You would. You'd look out your window and say, wow, we've got a yard now. <laughs> Full of boulders. When did that happen? But, but like global warming, the ocean, it used to go up like a little under two millimeters. Now it's going up about almost four millimeters a year. But really, would you notice on your own that change in depth when you went to the beach? Would you go to... Hey, the ocean seem a little deeper to you this year? This seems a little deeper. Have you noticed that? Yeah, and it's a bit more acidic. Did you taste it? It's in here, isn't it? It's more acidy. I think you're right. I think this beach could use a couple tablespoons of baking powder. Did you notice? Whereas it was so bad, it was so nasty. We didn't need a scientist to tell us in the 70s that there was a problem when in 1973 the Cuyahoga River in Ohio burst into flames. <laughs> See what I mean? Any idiot knows there's a problem <laughs> when there's a flammable river. Doesn't need to be a scientist. <laughs> you don't even need a GED for that. This is probably some junior high dropout down smoking by the river because it was good for you. And he, like, threw the butt in the river and I was like, whoa, that is not supposed to do that. That is, uh, uh, I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to extinguish my cigarette. It is. This is spreading like a son of a gun. Well, yeah, call the fire department, but tell them to check their water. 
to sit. We might have had us a paradigm shift here. <laughs> Flaming River. And I feel bad for the scientists in a way because they have to try to communicate this stuff to us. To a guy like me, for years, I thought, I, well, why can't you explain it to me? Many people, well, explain it to me. And they're like, Ben, we can't. You're too stupid. 